here we are. Hi, happy birthday. Thank you. It's finally here. We've been birthday. talking about this for a while. All year, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so funny thing. Um, I was talking to Abby, the executive director of, the, of Washington State FFA yesterday. Uh -huh. And she said to me, um, we were talking about your speaking engagements and things like that. And she's like, oh my gosh. Uh, I mentioned to her that today was your birthday because yeah. <laughs> she was just checking on how everything was going. And she's like, I knew that because I listened to your 2019 wrap up podcast. And I was oh, like, yeah. she's like, and she mentioned it. See, I've like, been talking about this for way too long. <laughs> right. Well, January seems like six months ago. Let's be honest. Wait, maybe uh, yeah. it was. I mean, like, or like a year. Ago. It's yeah, it's like yeah, a so, decade ago right now. Of right, lifetime, so said, right? Oh yeah, I was so glad she said that because then I went back and I listened to that podcast, which really does seem like a lifetime ago. And um, you know, you talked about Mark, your stepdad, saying, "Watch out! In a blink of an eye, it'll be here." And so here you are. It's, it's true. April, yeah, and that was January, and I know he's talking maybe bigger years, but still. It was fast. And you and I talked a lot in that episode about slowing down and <laughs> connecting yeah. with people face to face. <laughs> Who would have thought this is where it would be on your well, 40th birthday? Pick one or the other, slow down <laughs> or connect with people face to face. Right. But I have to say, like, this technology has saved me during uh -huh. this. Mm hmm. Like for it real. Me. And, and you're still connecting with people face to face. Yeah. And I would say we've slowed down. <laughs> oh, we've slowed down. Yes. yes. You know what, though? I mean, you and I have talked about this before on the podcast. And I, th this is something that I need to keep more of. I don't, I'm still trying to figure out how, right? Yeah. Because we still have to make money and hopefully we can start going again soon so that we can continue to do what we do because <laughs> right. income has to come in the door right. to do that. But like, what's the balance? Like, how can I like let some of that go? Like, wh where does it exist? I don't know. I, yeah. and like kids sports and all these things, right? Like my kids are pretty happy doing not a lot here. Yeah. And yeah. so Same. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So what's it look like? Post being in our homes a lot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I've literally, like, I go on walks every day. I, I try to run most days. Oh, I see little legs. Someone, know, who little... is it? Who is it? Someone come in to say hi. Oh. Oh. Well, he's, gonna go <laughs> he's like, no, I'm not going to say hi to you. No. Uh, um, yeah, I haven't really gone out in public, like, much, oh. you know, so that's a little tough. It's weird. And, and it, I didn't realize how much I would miss being around people. I mean, I yeah. have my family here. And I don't know about you, but like we live on the trail and I'm sure my family thinks I am a nut. I know they do. It's fine. But every time I see somebody I know, I'm like, oh, I gotta go say hi. From my <laughs> and I run out my door, sometimes the front, sometimes the back, whatever. Um, but it's amazing. I just noticed like the other day um, I went for a walk and I saw a friend and chatted with her from a safe distance while he's walking and how much better it makes you feel oh, when you yeah. somebody. It mm. does. It kind of calms yeah. everything down in me. It's weird. I'm like, oh yeah, there, there's people out there and they exist too. And I know, I know. Yeah. So there's yeah. like a lot of lessons yep. in this, right? And so, yes, whether oh, yeah. I, I, cause you know what, <laughs> there's probably no way I was going to actually slow myself down. So maybe this is a no, good thing that right? happened this year. Not really. Like yeah. it's not good for so many other other economic reasons and for health reasons for people. Like I don't mean that, of course. But uh, yeah. if there was a silver lining, <laughs> that's it for me. There it is. Yeah, yep. There it is. So it was funny too um, to go back and listen to it and and hear you talking about this this big year. And it's been a big year. I mean, we keep saying that, but then it just it just keeps being a big year. Twenty nineteen, twenty twenty. Um, and so, you know, one of the things um, that we talked about on there is like, what do you want? <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, what do you want? And, um, and so I want to ask you, just looking at like, even the next like five years, let's say, okay, Ooh. let's keep it like realistic. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't have to be like, what do you want? But 
what are you looking forward to in, in the, the next, next five years? Yeah, personally, uh, with Farm Her? Personally. Anything. Okay, let's start out with personally. That's a great okay. question. Um, mm -hmm. That not it ridiculous that like I have to like really dig deep to figure out, that I, I, I wish I was the person who was like this, 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 and this, right? Yeah. But um, <laughs> what do I want? I okay. want to continue on some of the slowdown like it's it's a real struggle here. I know Tony's always like, if I could pick one thing for you, it would be to be able to like relax just a little bit. And yeah. part of me, I'm just wired that way. Just who you like, are. The, right. There's right. a big part of that, but I also think that there's an intentional part of like saying, you know what, like I don't need to go do that. And as much as I might want to, like it's going to make everything crazier. So, you know, like realizing that and actually being adult enough to like say it I think mm -hmm. is probably one of the biggest things. Um, what I really want right now, right now, I really want yeah. to go to a beach. I want to spend more <laughs> yeah. time on a beach and I will wear yeah. a hat and sunscreen so that I don't give myself wrinkles or skin cancer. Yeah, but you <laughs> just want to go to a beach. I, I do want to go to a beach. I want to spend, I love to travel. I love to see things and the farm her road has given me that a lot of that, but like with my family, you know, like it's never more evident that they are not going to be around for forever. And right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, and they're here now. And like, there's this ridiculous part of me that keeps having this like daydream right now. And it's, I'm not like, Oh my gosh, maybe I shouldn't even put this out in the world. Because I'm not going to homeschool my children. But I think it's like we're in this situation and we have this bubble kind of around us, right? Yeah. And so I'm like, wouldn't it be nice if we just like, what if we became one of those families that like just took our camper and like went and like disconnected from like life for like a year for real? Yes. <laughs> but I, I can't see, homeschool I can, my I can, kids. Like, like they would learn can, nothing other well, than like how to hook up a camper. <laughs> yeah, well, let's become different then, right? But is that illegal to like remove my kids from no, school I'll, for a year? I'll, I'll side note this to you. Who was telling me that there is a family? Um, I don't remember. One of my friends, like who did? They just up and left with their kids for the whole year. They're traveling the world and on like a budget, not, you know, Crazy. Yeah, like, like yeah, like they're, and they're somewhere. probably working along the way because they can work yeah. from a distance. I mean, I could do from yeah. her from a lot of places. It'd have oh to look gosh. a little different, but yeah, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't think like, that's unrealistic. It's kind of I a pipe that. dream. Right. Um, but like, again, Tony, could you homeschool the kids? No. <laughs> no, he says no. That's, that's the hitch and the giddy up. The and that we have this little dog that I do love and I know. she can't handle her. traveling. Oh, uh, no. no. So it's just like this weird like thing. And so that is way off track of what I want in the next five years. But I think like that, that's what I'm saying is I want to keep some of our bubble, right? Like our, our, um, like mm -hmm. helps me like get to yeah, be together with them and yep. like, but I do want to go to a beach. <laughs> yes. I was supposed to be at a beach put today. And uh -huh. Put that on top of the list. Yeah. In Florida and we go great. to there like a couple times a year at least. And um, it's just, yeah, I need to go back there. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So and those are those are really big aspirations. I'm going to go to a beach a lot, hopefully. And <laughs> yes. Um, not get more wrinkles. That's a good personal yeah. goal. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, I think 40 is where it's at. So I yeah. think you can put all those things on your list and you can do whatever you want. Yeah. That's, I, that's what I would tell you. I would say that I feel more at this point in my life, like I can do whatever I want than I probably ever have. And that's probably like the comfort in your own skin yeah. that I wish yeah. I could like for anybody who's 20 out there listening, who's like, you're trying right. to trying to figure that out like it just takes time so there's there's a positive about getting a little bit older right yep absolutely and we talked a lot in that that wrap up too about um you know trusting your gut and oh, all of that yeah. just like you said if you like it all comes with time and practice yeah yep. yeah and you know when i think about farm her and professionally over the next five years i think like continuing to trust my gut because it's it's like 
Um, oh, it's always going to be a windy path, right? Like, I don't know exactly. We're, we're headed into the fifth year of our TV show, and that's how long we set out to do it for originally. And and so Farm Her will keep being in some way or another, and, and hopefully there and, and yeah. in other places and other ways. But it's uh, not without fear because that's like income, right? Like, right. So yeah, uh, there's that, but I, mm -hmm. I think I'm excited to like continue to see like how we can keep telling good stories, you know, and we've been working on that this year. So that I think behind yeah. the scenes for anybody who is, uh, wondering what we're talking about, like we, we have been heads down working on that. And that's a goal that we set out last year, right. To increase our mm -hmm. audience, uh, across the board and how are we going to do that? And um, <laughs> shit. Uh, and so I'm excited. Like, like I said, yeah. we've, we've all been heads down people. Yeah. I think our neighbors are probably like, what are you guys doing? Like you, you, like, you know, the TV show airs and you aren't filming. We did film that in our backyard a few days ago, right. one of them. Right. But like, I'm like, we're heads, you know, like you, you're probably logging more hours right now than you normally do even. Cause we're all just like running at how to increase yeah. it. So that's exciting. That's really exciting. It is exciting. And I think, I think we've seen a lot, um, change in just the last month or two even. And so all of that research and hard work and thought, um, it's, it's all coming together. It's exciting. Mm-hmm. I think there's good things to come. So let's talk about Farm Her quick. I have two questions for you. Okay. okay. Um, out of all your Farm Her episodes, that's a lot. How many? Um, oh, um, okay. One, so 120, 20, 26 and eight. Oh, okay. we're going to have to bust out the math here. 26 and 18, 25 mm -hmm. and 25. Um, so that's 75, 76, 86 plus 8. Is that 92, something yeah, like 92, that? Yeah, 93. So let's say over 90 episodes of Farm Her. Yeah. That's so much. Oh so my gosh. So many stories. So um, many. What, was there one place you visited, one Farm Her you highlighted that surprised you the most, that you just didn't expect um, maybe to hit you the way it did or to learn something that you did? There yeah. You go, right on the hot seat. Is there, um, is there any, anything there's a, that sticks out? There's a few that stick out. Unfortunately, the ones that really stick out are the people who've been through something like really intense in their stories. The, those, I don't know why, like I, maybe it's mm -hmm. just the empathy in me that those stick with me. Um, mm -hmm. I, I can remember a few moments. Carrie Portell, um, yeah. she is in Missouri. She was on, I think, in season three. And, mm -hmm. um, she was in a head on car accident. She got hit by a drunk driver. She had her kids in the car and, uh, she has fought her way back And and I've spent some time with her after the TV episode too. We got a chance to drive down the road for a lot of hours, uh, for grow right, just last spring mm -hmm. and gosh, she's amazing. And I still remember for all that she has been through, like, I don't, I mean, I, over 10 surgeries for sure. And it took her like, like I want to say like 12 surgeries or something like that to be able to even walk again, to get out of a wheelchair. And like this lady is awesome and I love her. And um, when she opened the door at her house, I still remember feeling shocked because I was like, I, I should probably do a better job of looking somebody up before I meet them sometimes. But for someone who's been through everything she has, she was not, she just had a different disposition than what I expected. She looked different. You can't see her scars. Her scars are all hidden right. under her clothes, you, can't you know? And see. when you like hear what she's been through or read about what she's been through and then you see her, it's like your brain just does this, like, what, what am I seeing? But she, it's because she's like the strongest person and she doesn't let it stop her at no. all. And no. I, so I, I still remember that moment and mm -hmm. you, so that, that was a strong episode. Barbara Mazarek, she was in our first season in first Texas. Season? Oh gosh, mm -hmm. that lady is 
one of the strongest people you will ever meet. I And I think it hit me because I, I think I realized when we did her interview, like this isn't always going to be like fun and games, Margie. <laughs> like we don't, we get to tell a positive story a lot of the time and a fun, lighthearted story a lot of the time. And I love that, right? Like I think the world right. needs a lot of that. And, and yes. But there's a lot of tough things in this industry and, and in life. And mm -hmm. her husband died like on the farm. And she told us exactly the timeline. And it was like, you know, 30 years before, and I, it's yeah. still like, I felt like it took my breath away, and I, I could, I, yeah. So those yeah. are some of the behind the scenes ones where people have been through something really tough that I think, like, stick with me. Those they, those moments of the interview part, if nothing else, right? It's not, right. it's not even what you guys see on TV. Yeah, yeah. It's, but even it's, even just because you're there and you can see it, you can feel it in the flesh too. It makes it, yeah. A whole Experience. It yeah. does. It does. And yeah. so uh, those awesome. are just, just two, but there, gosh, awesome. there's so many. Yeah, there's so many. So many good stories. Okay, so then my second question for you is what farm animal scares you the most? Oh. <laughs> well, I would have said chickens <laughs> before what is going to come out, what, in like two weeks? There's an episode coming out where I had to. Have you ever picked up a fish, Erin, like a big nope. live fish? Nope. Nope. I do not like fish. <laughs> but I, I actually did pick it up. No, Whereas I with a chicken, I just run away. So probably <laughs> chicken. Birds are probably the top. Because really I, the I mean to be fine. And I can be around them more than I used to be able to. But like when they start flapping around, I just like, you know, like if you, if any of you are, if you are afraid of something, like I don't, what are you afraid of, Erin? Yeah. Like you're afraid of something, Well, I right? don't like birds either. I'll be honest with you. There was just one in my garage and I screamed and ran like yeah. an hour. Yeah. So I really get, I totally can empathize with your bird fear. A hundred percent. Or like I've people who are bad snakes. Experiences. Yeah, snakes or uh, spiders or something. You know, like yeah. how you mean to like, you, like it's not rational and then you just have to get away. It is. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's how I feel about chickens. <laughs> now, so we went to this trout farm and I... Like, it was like, yeah, I can get in the water. I can measure one of these fish. And I went to grab the fish and I was like, <gasps> like, I can't touch that. And I tried and I tried. And the lady, I said to the lady, it's in the episode, I was like, have you ever seen someone so ridiculous? And she's like, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. I was like, come okay. on, Margie, get it together. And John, who's our main videographer, was like, yeah. I could hear you talking to yourself. Because I was like, come on. Because you, you were really, you were... You Pick were up the literally fish. A talk. <laughs> yeah. So I love that. Um, that yeah, that that's an <laughs> unexpected twist. But yeah. you know, I I like to I like to be outside. Like I love the sun. I want to go to the beach. And I guess yeah. I always kind of thought of myself as an outdoorsy person. But yeah. it turns out I am actually really not. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, like a specific outdoor, right? Yeah outdoor <laughs> yeah hey remember this is something to not be scared of remember when we delivered baby pigs you and oh, me gosh, with Aaron Brenneman yeah okay okay like let's put that into perspective that could have been that was a little um intimidating maybe a little um like I didn't really want to stick my arm up the pig gosh can we find to, that picture of yeah we can you yeah we, a baby pig here's what <laughs> happened because there was no video it was just us we went to Aaron Brenneman's like the, it was like the perfect picture of you too when you delivered that pig. Like yeah. your face at all. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like really, th so we, sh we I did my hair, right? Good thing. Cause <laughs> then she's like, and you're taking a shower before you can come in here. So we take a shower mm -hmm. and we go in. And then she was like, you guys are going to deliver a pig today. And we were like, I'm um, okay. Have you delivered a pig before that? I can't no, remember. No, I've never delivered a pig. Mm -mm. Okay. No. no. Have you delivered any animal? Um, no, no. No, <laughs> like you know, a human I, being came I, out of you, but like I haven't actually have like done the. <laughs> didn't watch that either. Um, no. It, um, you know, I've seen them being born on the farm, but I've never ever done anything like participated that. to that level. Yeah, right. so we put on these like <laughs> arm length gloves. Yeah. Shoulder shoulder gloves and. <laughs> Uh, Aaron made sure that the pig was like ready to come out and then like you yeah. just like I remember I put my hand up there and it just like it just slid right out and I was like sweet Whoa. but I kind of felt bad like I was like 
is this pig going to be okay with this? Like, no, I know. I did. I was empathizing with, with a mama too. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. It, she was not going to let us leave until yeah. we delivered a baby pig. And there were opportunities. There were many opportunities, actually. It was kind of unreal. Yeah. And so there, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad we did. I'm glad that we delivered it. Cause that was, a, that was one of the coolest experiences that wasn't for the TV show, but I was like, this right. is life. This is real. This is something pretty cool that just happened yep. right here, you know? So, yeah. yeah. Well, I've been thinking about her a lot and, and I follow her anyway on, on Instagram and she just posted, but, um, you know, um, biosecurity is something they've been doing forever and ever. Oh yeah. Um, and so just thinking about showering in and out when we went there, uh, yep. all of our stuff going through the, the UV light, I think that's right. Yep. Um, Their air is all filtered. Sitting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cleaning our boots in and out. I mean, it was, it was major. So yeah, yeah. that was cool. Yeah. That was cool. That was cool. That was cool. We'll have um, to figure out something else cool to do in year 40 here. Yes. Uh, lots of opportunities as soon as you can <laughs> exit the house. Yeah. Um, okay. So what are you going to do today? What Ooh, are you playing? Well, so far I uh, woke up to a video that my husband had. So thank you. Your face was on there. A lot of people, <laughs> a lot of friends and people that I've worked with were on their family um, that uh, put themselves out there and sent a little video that got put together. So that was really exciting. Yeah. And yeah. then I left my house. Oh. to want to see what's out in front of my house. Um, yeah, here, let, let's, let's go mobile. Um, okay. Aaron, you're not going to be able to see my face, but I'm, okay. I'm okay. heading out of the studio. I'll, I'll explain to you what's happening. We're going to go on a little field trip. Yeah. We're, we're heading up the stairs now and out into the daylight. Who? Okay, so, so this is what I woke up to this morning. Very exciting. So, ta -da! happy birthday to me. It is not a secret, now everybody knows cat is out of the bag and it's actually pretty nice day out here so lots of people out and about uh, yeah so I'm heading back inside now but um and now and you know I think yeah it's it's like, gosh what else it's um to be beautiful so I got some win, gifts from my right? kids huge win and um I don't know what else is on they they seem to have like a full lineup for me of, of uh, stuff, sir. There. Yep. So, okay. All right. So um, I think it was supposed to rain today and it looks like yeah, it's but beautiful. Yeah. It's kind of like almost sunny. Almost. I know. Right. I'll take it. It's fine. Good. We'll take that. Um, so, well, I just in wraps, I just want to tell you happy birthday. Thank you, Thank you for being you. Thank you for telling all these important stories um, with all your heart and soul of all these awesome, strong, fabulous women. Um, I Here's cheers to telling stories all year long because yes. I know you love it and you are so good at it. And I just want to tell you thank you and keep being you. And oh. I'll cheers my farm her mug. Oh, I don't have now. anything. It's okay. I'll you get can... something in each fist later. <laughs> but I hope... I... I know you will. Oh, here. I wish, there you go. Um, I wish it wasn't coffee. So soon it will be something different. And I miss you and Tony. I miss <laughs> being in the studio. Um, but this has been, it's so much fun. And I cannot wait to see yeah. what 40 brings. I know it's going to be awesome. But thank you for everything thank you. you do for all the farmers of the world. Oh, well, thank you for this talk today. This has been fun yeah. and uh, I so appreciate you. So yeah. thank you so much. You too. Okay, we'll chat with you later. Have a good Have day. Bye. Bye.